What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We, we're getting itchy feet. We need to start traveling, but we've got absolutely no idea where we want to go. Basically what we're going to do is, we're going to launch one of these arrows in to this spinning globe. Wherever that arrow lands, we are going to travel to. We're going to be traveling for a month in the location of wherever this arrow lands in this globe. This has got to be one of the stupidest, funnest things we have ever done. I'm going to slap this globe right there. Alright, let's do this. This is bloody exciting. What we're going to do is, Mac 10 is going to run down the firing range there. She's going to start spinning that globe as fast as she can. Once that globe's spinning, she's going to run out of the way. I'm going to launch this arrow down the firing range. Wherever the arrow hits on that globe, we are going to be traveling there in the next 48 hours. We've got bags to pack, flight, flight tickets to book, 48 hours to get it all done. You ready? Do not hit me. <sighs> this is exciting, man. I don't want to have a little Czech Republic shish kebab, all right? So you've got to get out of there. You ready for this? You ready? Uh-huh. Let's go. Spin that globe and run. One, two, three. Get out of there. Destroyed it! Where did it land? Oh, look! Yeah! Let's go! Are you kidding? Alright, on this map, we have a location. The spinning map just got nailed. It went, the arrow went straight through one country and comes straight out the ass end of another country. We are going on an adventure. That was the first arrow to leave the bow and arrow. We're going on a hell adventure. It's gone somewhere so sick. I want to show you guys where we're going to go, but not just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go find plane tickets. We've got 48 hours to book a flight, find accommodation, get all of our shit ready. Dude, this is going to be so fun. So remote. The arrow did a straight pass through, <laughs> through one country, out the other. Look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Try to guess where the arrow landed. I'm frothing. All right, let's go. let's go book some plane tickets. Oh, yeah, my doggies. We are doing it. We're getting it done. It is, um, the last day has been a grind. It is the day after shooting the globe and we have got things in place right now. Mac 10, she's in the back of the car there on her laptop. She's booking flights, trying to find accommodation. We've got one flight. We need two flights to get to where the arrow landed. We also need boats. We need cars. We need accommodation and we can't find any of that stuff. So it is a grind right now, but I don't want to tell you guys exactly where we're going yet, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a hint. First things first, we're taking board shorts, which means we're going to a warm, beautiful environment. Secondly, we need a pair of good fashion hiking boots. They're going to be going in the backpack. We're also taking the noodle rod, the survival knife, and a couple of other things. If you guys reckon you know where we're going, hit us up in the comments section. Let us know. Um, look. We're going to be sitting here till about, till about, I don't know, midnight tonight trying to figure out the logistics of this trip. And then we've actually got a flight at 1.20 in the morning. So we're going to be jumping on a plane at 1.20. You guys are coming along this whole entire journey with us. So, um, man, this is going to be super fun. This is winging it to the next level right now, but we're getting it done. My girl, she's grinding <laughs> on her laptop in the back of the car. I've got all the fishing gear and bags packed. Let's do this. Ow. <laughs> All right, my doggies, we have made it to the airport. Look at this. This place is barren. There's a few people behind me there. I have lost Mac 10. Mac 10 has gone missing. She's MIA right now. I've got no idea where Mac 10 is. It is a big empty airport right now. The time is 12.21. Just gone past midnight and um, everything is looking good. We still don't have accommodation. We don't have boats. We've got two flight tickets now to the destination. We've got the noodle rod checked in. We've got all of our camping gear checked in. I am frothing, dude. Let's get up here. A plane leaves in about 40 minutes and then we're gonna boost on to the next location. Couple of planes, couple of boats, couple of cars. We're gonna get to that spot. This is so sick.
have made it to Kuala Lumpur Airport. And I'm gonna tell you something for free, man. We were just on a flight, five hour flight or six hour flight or something. There was a kid crying the entire flight. That kid had a serious set of lungs on him. We've got, well, how long are we here for? An hour and a half. Chill, I wanna see it. Two hours we're here, we're gonna get on another flight. We're gonna keep punching to that destination, but right now we're gonna find coffees. I feel like a bash crab right now. <laughs> Let's go back to Coffee. Mission complete. We found coffee. Mac Tanner stuffing her face full of food. Yeah, doggies, this is good. Here we go, here we go. This is our flight. <laughs> Alright, this is flight number two. I'm sitting in the toilet right now because um, there's more room in here than there is out there. So I'm just going to hang out here for a little while. We're up in the sky, flight number two. Let's go, baby. Flight number one, we had a kid screaming the entire flight. <laughs> Flight number two, we're surrounded by people coughing up lungs all around us. They're gonna get sick for sure. <laughs> like everyone around us, front, next to us, every, behind us. Every single person is coughing on this plane. Dude, thank God that is over. That was one of the most brutal flights of my life. That was that was seriously. I don't think I've ever done a breath hold for that long. Like I would have been, I would have free dive 125 meters just then. That was brutal. How good is to get a fresh breath of air? Dude, I'm not I'm not one to complain, but that was just a flight full of coughing, and it was like I'm talking coughing from like deep down, like proper manly, like oh, oh. that was next level. Anyway. That is our last flight, but well, we've still got 24 hours of travel ahead of us right now. We're gonna go find a kid with a sign and um, we're gonna jump in a car and we've got eight hours to drive now. So we have still got a massive steam ahead of us. I'm just happy to be in just a little bit more fresh air. Yeah. They're still coughing. Oh, look at a bird. It's a bird. Birds in the airport. You guys may or may not know where, where we are right now. If you do, drop it in the comment section. If you don't, I'll let you guys know very soon. You're gonna start figuring it out pretty quickly. That was sick. That was a brutal flight. Oh, that was the easy part. Whew, fresh air is good air, man. If we don't get sick, I'm going to be surprised, eh? I know, I know. Holy. These are the field day fans, man. There's field day fans everywhere. Yeah. All right, we are finally bloody made it here. That is the last flight we've got to take. We've got cars beeping at us. We've got our fishing rod bag here. And um, now we have an eight hour drive. We're going to look for a driver. Once we find our driver, we're jumping in the car. We've got an eight hour drive. To the other side of this island then we've got boats to jump onto another boat it's just hectic but we're going to take you guys along along the journey with us all right we finally found our driver we're going we've got a long drive man eight hours let's just let's hit listen to these tunes man You guys have picked what country we're in now. Look at this. The streets of mayhem, the music inside this car is pumping along. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump out of the car. We're gonna get um, SIM cards for our phones because our Australian SIM cards don't work in this country. So we're getting a couple of SIM cards. We're gonna go change a little bit of money over and uh, we're gonna keep going on this eight hour drive to the other side of the country. This is too much fun, man. This is, I have missed this. I really, really have missed this. If you haven't guessed where we are, I'm gonna tell you guys very soon.
Sarah, the side. <laughs> Look at this joint, man. Look at this. These are the um, five star toilets that you get in the middle of the jungle. This is what we call back home a thunder box. Have a go at that thing. Squat there, you do your business, you clean it with that. This is good, eh? Alright, we've actually come here to get a couple of coffees because we're dying. Look at this creepy thing over here in the background. That's weird. Yeah, what a time to be alive. We have had one hell of a mission so far. What we've done is we've, we've got SIM cards. That, took, that was an absolute mission. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to get SIM cards, but we've got SIM cards for our phones. We've had about 50 coffees. We've had chicken and rice on the side of the road twice now on this drive. It was so good. And we are so far behind. We are so lagging in time right now, man. We're meant to arrive on our destination at two o'clock in the morning. So we've got a big drive. We're not even halfway right now. The time is 7.15 at night. And um, we've got a big drive ahead of us still. We're meant to arrive at 2 a.m. We've got a couple of hours sleep, then we're gonna get up in the morning, jump on a boat and keep moving. So this has been a super fun experience so far. We've had, the views are incredible, man. We are driving through psycho jungle, jungle pissing down the rain. It's so dope, man. I'm gonna go neck this coffee, get back in the car, and um, we'll just keep cruising. So it is 1.30 in the morning. We've just been dropped off at this, I don't even, what do you call this place? Like a homestay? I'd see it is the most random busted ass place. The scooters all out the front. I don't even know if anyone else is here, but it is sketchy, man. We've just been dropped off. We're so tired, man. Mac Tannen's kind of, she's sleeping right now, sitting there, I'm sleeping. I can barely talk. This is the room we've got for the night though. Look at this little room, man. It's good enough. Real toilet. Shower. Oh, there is no shower. Okay, we got a toilet. This is a bucket. Toilet, toilet, and a bed. That's it. That's us for the night. All right, we're gonna get some shuttle. We're gonna be on a boat at eight o'clock tomorrow morning to go to another island. So um, see you guys in the morning. Much love, doggies. So. Good bloody morning, doggies. What is going on? We've just woken up. It is seven fifty. We're running late. We've got a car to catch, a boat to catch. Let's go, we're gonna go out the front. We've got two coffees waiting for us right now. And um, we're excited, man. This is a good leg of the trip right now. So we've got ourselves two coffees down here. We're waiting for our car driver. He's running late as always, but it's all right. The boat captain over here, he's found us. Yeah, brah. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> so everything's happening. We've got coffees, we're waiting for our car driver. We're gonna get taken to the boat and then it's a big boat steam. It's good times ahead, eh? Ooh. Like how bloody lucky is this, right? We stayed up there last night on the roof. Underneath here, there's like this random little shop. Look at this shit, man. This is next level. This guy actually sells fishing gear. I reckon this would be the only shop in the whole entire place that sells fishing gear. Look at this, he sells little, little treble hooks. He's got a whole wall of fishing lures there. This is good to know. This is a steam from the island that we're actually heading to, but it's good to know. We're just gonna walk around here and see if there's any things we need for this trip because we're going really, really off grid. So, let's have a little look through this dark shop and find some things. Fishing sinkers. Oh, look at these little propellers, man. Little propellers for a boat. This guy's got everything in here. Oh, that would definitely come in handy on the survival missions we're going to be doing. What is this? It's like a rat trap. Oh, look at that. 
I'm getting that right now. You are going to see this thing used in the survival missions on the camping on the island missions for sure. That I'm going to buy that. That's going to come in handy for sure. We're taking that with us. Tape, rope. Good place. Good place to find. I should most definitely be stocking up on this stuff. And this is probably a dead giveaway of where we are right now. If you haven't figured out where we are by seeing this, well, good luck to you. I should grab a couple of packets of them just in case we don't catch any fish. Man, this place is loaded of little treats, eh? bottles of water. There's so much good stuff in here. Look at that. That will come in handy on survival missions every day of the week. This guy's got every... Oh, look at this. Coffee! All right, we've just arrived at the little boat harbour thing and we're about to jump on a boat. Have a look at this boat we're about to board. It is so epic. That little boat is so sick, man. I just, it's going to be so funny. I just saw him putting water out of the boat with a bucket. Yeah, it's, it's filling up. It must have <laughs> holes in it. Yeah, look at our little boat that we've got for the next how many hours on the open ocean. Look at this little thing. A two-stroke banger, filling up with water. This is going to be too much fun. Okay. All right, the time right now, it is 8.30 in the morning. We've made it on what they call a speedboat. Look at this little thing, dude. Look at our chairs, man. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. We've got a couple of hours drive in this boat to get to the next destination. Look at this little boat, man. Go, brother, go. absolutely frothing right now you would never believe out of all of the places that arrow could have gone through it has gone through probably one of our favorite places in the world this purple section of the country here is indonesia that arrow went straight through there you can just see there that says some for sumatra the arrow went straight through the bottom of sumatra came out of the back of brazil but we are going to sumatra we're here right now in australia that thing just went just up there in indonesia it could have gone anywhere, but it hit Indo. We're going back to Indo, doggies. This YouTube channel was started in Bali, Indonesia, and fate has taken us back there. I'm frothing right now. Let's go. We're going back to Indo, doggies. Ow! If you guessed Indonesia, well, congratulations, you were correct. It's actually not where me and Mac-10 wanted to go. She, Mac-10 wanted to go to um, Africa. Africa. She wanted to go to South Africa. She wanted to do like, see um, lions, zebras, it's and um, what's that animal? You love big giraffes. <laughs> she wanted to see giraffes. I wanted to go to the Philippines, but that arrow legitimately hit Sumatra, which is a country, which is a place in Indonesia. And um, we are on a little island right now, which is about a two and a half boat trip from mainland. So right now we're on this dope little island. And it's not bad at all. <laughs> no, we're not complaining whatsoever. This place is sick. Wrap your eyes around this view. We've got big rainstorms in the background. How good is this? This is, what, this is what it's all about right now. Palm trees, man. We have got palm trees. And the funniest thing is, we actually haven't even made it to our end destination yet. Where's the fish at, boys? Yeah, doggy. All right, the funniest thing about this is this island that we're on right now actually is not the destination we want to be at. Basically, at this point right now, we've been traveling for two and a half days. We were sleep deprived, we're tired, we've, we've just been absolutely flogged out. Somehow, Mac-10 has organized this trip in less than 12 hours in the back of the troopy on our laptop. Props to you, young lady. I would never be able to organize a trip like this. But we're on this island right now just to charge our batteries, have some good food, some cold beers, and then, 
Some good sleep. Oh man, we had a bloody good sleep last night. I'll give you the hot tip. I'll show you guys our room in a little while. But what we're doing now is we're jumping on this busted ass wooden boat here. We're going to take this boat eight hours across the middle of the open ocean to a tiny little cluster of islands. Once we get to those islands, that is the end destination. And these islands are completely off grid. Nobody lives on these islands. There is no water. There's no phone reception. There's nothing out there. We're going to spend the next month on those islands. Do now thing. Look, we're going to go show you guys where we're staying. We're going to make the most of this civilization. We've got flushing toilets. We've got cold beers. We've got good food. Tonight is the last night of all that and then the new islands we're going to it is off grid welcome to the only bit of comfort and luxury we're gonna have this whole month ahead this is it <laughs> this is it doggies this is our last night in this kind of style room before we go super off grid nice big comfy bed in here we've got a bathroom look at this shower and toilet and a sink don't get too used to that Mac 10 because um, there's going to be none of that where we're going. There is no hot water, no electricity. They only turn on the power around 6 p.m. and they just leave it for the night. But first, it's so much better than what we will have the next few weeks. And look at the views. Those views are so worth it. Dude, doesn't get any better, eh? Look at this bloody thing. There's even geese on this island. We have had the most haggard 72 hours. It's been enjoyable. It's been hard. We've been on a plane full of coughing people and we still are not at the end destination. What we're going to do is we're going to have a good feed. We're going to enjoy this accommodation here. And the next time we see each other, we'll be on off-grid islands doing what we do best. If you guys want to see those videos, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video, doggies. Hi.